Hello YouTube, it is Kim or Ms. Fantastic, and I owe you guys this video from my um, bucket list trip. Um, I went on a hike and I said I was going to make a video about it, um, so I just wanted to really quickly tell you guys what happened on my hiking trip. Um, it is quite a funny story, let me tell you. So I have had a dream for, oh gosh, probably 15-20 years that I wanted to hike in the Sawtooth Mountains. And what started this dream was 15-20 uh, years ago I was camping up there with my kids. They were toddlers at the time. And I started to take a little hike and a um, little hike. It, they have all sorts of trails in the Sawtooth Mountains that are designated hiking spots and um, basically I was able to walk maybe a quarter of a mile up that trail before dying of an asthma attack and so I kind of set a goal for myself then someday I'm going to be able to do this hike. So I've, you know, dreamed of getting in shape and being able to do that hike. So um, some friends of mine, five of us, decided that this is the year we're going to do that hike and so we um, started out at the Iron Creek Campground, that's the trailhead up into this hike. And um, several, several things went wrong from the very beginning of the hike. Um, first of all, there is a raging forest fire <laughs> going through the Sawtooth Mountains right now. Um, the hiking trail was still open, but to get to the hiking trail, we had to go, we actually had to follow a pilot car in because the smoke was so thick. Yeah, our first major mistake. But, you know, we don't like to give up. We had a dream. We were going to do this hike. So we're going to follow through, even if it means going through this smoke. So we did. Um, I had a severe asthma attack before we got to the trailhead. Uh, first one in two years since my surgery, as a matter of fact. My first asthma attack. So luckily, a friend that I was with had a portable nebulizer with her because she has asthma too. And so I was able to actually take a breathing treatment. Um, probably would be dead right now if it wasn't for that. I'm just telling you now. So I took my breathing treatment. I was fine. So we pulled out our backpacks. Um, this is supposed to be a five mile, um, hike in and then a five mile hike out to this trail or this lake. And it was Sawtooth Lake we were going to. So pulled out our backpacks and guess what? My backpack was broken. So guess what I did? I decided to let my friend carry my water bottles, and my asthma inhaler. I'm hoping you're seeing the foreshadowing here of future things to come. First major mistake, carry your own water, people. And if you have asthma, you really should carry your inhaler on you. Okay, so that happened. Um, then I did my second major mistake. Don't ever do this. This was the stupidest thing I ever did. But um, my one friend went ahead of me. She was walking on the trail. We were walking too slow for her. She went ahead of me. I decided to walk ahead, too. My other three friends, my sister and two friends, were behind me. I thought a short, short distance behind me. So, I'm walking ahead like an idiot. Apparently, there was a fork in the trail. I didn't see it. Yep. The trail forked to the left. I kept going straight on the other trail. I didn't know there was two trails. I just thought the one trail went in and the one trail went out. Idiot. Had I stayed with my group, the people who knew where they were going would have been fine. So I guess the trail forked to the left towards Sawtooth Lake. I went straight. So I walked and walked and walked. This is supposed to be a five mile hike. Very, very thirsty. No water kept stopping and resting, hoping those other three were going to catch up. How far behind me are they? They never caught up. I kept walking. Very, very thirsty. <laughs> Finally, after four hours of walking, my mind is like, this is the longest five miles of my life. I have walked five miles before. It shouldn't take four hours to walk five miles. They never caught up. So one of my friends was pregnant. And so in my mind, I'm thinking they must have had to go back. You know, I just assumed they must have went back because she was pregnant. 
finally, after four hours of walking, I go through this gate. There is a sign saying, leaving the Sawtooth National Forest. I decided that's my wake-up call. I don't think you're supposed to leave the Sawtooth National Forest, Kim. It's now about, I don't have a clock, but I'm looking up. It looks like it's about 2, 3 in the afternoon. I have four miles of wa or four hours of walking to get back, and I need to get back before dark. If I don't get back before dark, I could be sleeping out here with no water. Did I say no water? Because that was hell. So I turned around, and I walked back. So remember there was a friend ahead of me on the trail? Where the heck is she? <laughs> So I kept screaming her name. I kept stopping and resting and screaming her name. After about four miles, uh, or four hours of screaming her name, she finally answered me back. She was finally had caught back up with me. Uh, that was the best moment of my life to know I was not alone in the wilderness. <laughs> I can't, I, all right. I actually even cried a couple times because I was starting to get a little hysterical. Um, but things were fine. So anyway, she caught back up with me. Um, our other friends, our other three friends had actually made it to Sawtooth Lake, the lake we were supposed to go to. They had cell phone coverage by the time they got to the top of the lake and they were able to text her that's when they found out I was not with her. Everyone was frantic by that point, thinking I was lost in the wilderness. Um, she was able to, when she caught up with me, she was able to get a text out to them that she had found me. Um, so thank God they didn't call the rangers in to find me. I was never lost, by the way. I want you to know that. It was that trail in. I knew I had to come back out for four hours. I was never lost. Um, but it was hell walking. So here's the deal. She was about a quarter of a mile ahead of me when I had turned around. She turned around about a quarter mile later. Um, she made it to the lake that we were actually on the trail to see, which was Stanley Lake. Apparently, we got on the wrong trail. Both of us did. So thank God it wasn't just me that got lost. Well, not lost. We weren't lost. Keep that in mind. We were not lost. Um, we actually end up, ended up walking um, 20 miles. The trail to Stanley Lake was a 10-mile hike, so 10 miles to Stanley Lake, 10 miles back out. Um, so, I guess that's the silver lining, is I walked 20 miles, um, which was twice the distance I intended to walk. So, yes, this 47-year-old woman was able to accomplish her bucket list dream of walking, hiking, in the Sawtooth Mountains. I just went to a different lake, uh, Stanley Lake, rather than... Sawtooth Lake, and was able to do it. And it was our virgin hike. I mean, we are planning on doing more hiking again, and we learned some very valuable lessons. Carry your own water, always have your asthma inhaler on you, and stay with the group. Never, never, never leave your group. And I will never leave my group again. I am telling you right now, I learned that, and I will not. So we're already planning our trip for next year. Um, I do want to actually see Sawtooth Lake, so we're going to do that hike. And then um, I think what we're going to do is going to be tons of fun. We're going to take a trailer up and we're going to actually park in the campground, uh, Stanley Lake campground with our trailer, and then just do some day, t day hikes from there. So yeah, we are a crazy bunch of women. Um, I feel very fortunate that I lived through this experience and um, learned some valuable lessons. Won't be doing certain things again. So that was my bucket list hike. In hindsight, I loved it, and it was great. During the actual hike, there were several moments of panic, but we did okay. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.